Honestly guys, I think there's only one way to actually start this video off and that's by saying thank you guys for 17,000 subscribers here on the channel. I think that's absolutely crazy. I feel like I just hit 10k like a couple months ago and now here I am at 17 thousand subscribers when I sit down and just think about how big of a number 17,000 actually is in reality like if I was standing in front of 17,000 people talking giving a speech or something like that I would be I would be tripping man it is a lot of people and I think it's absolutely crazy the support has been unreal and I gotta thank you guys for that so thank you guys a ton for the support here on the channel if you guys didn't know I kind of took like a break last week it, it was blessed man I, all I did was work eat and sleep and let's just say I enjoyed it but of course I couldn't I couldn't abandon these supercross videos we are here we are back with that being said that doesn't mean I'm not gonna bring other games to the channel I am still trying to get live streams going on twitch if you want to go give me a follow at Goonzig over there on twitch go give me a follow the link is in the description and I plan on doing a ton of chill streams over on twitch now that's enough of the promo that's enough of the thank you you guys know I appreciate the support a ton it does mean the world to me and man I never thought I would be here at 17,000 subscribers 20k 20k is coming guys 20k in 2020 let's make it happen now the plan for today this is something that has been highly requested here on the channel and that is MXGP takes on Supercross so what I've done today is I have attempted to make a Jeffrey Hurling setup. It would be nice if we could get like the sponsors and stuff to show up on uh, the gear, but we don't have that option. Of course, he rocks the Alpine Star gear, Alpine Star boots, and he doesn't have his helmet and everything right now. But the setup, in my opinion, it's it's pretty fresh. It's not perfect. It is not perfect, but it is pretty dang good. And I guess we don't get to see the bike. There's the bike in the top right. Of course, I couldn't run the official preset. If I ran this official preset, the KTM, it would have been perfect. It would have been the exact graphics that Hurlings runs, but I would have had to run Thor gear and you guys would have roasted me and I wasn't about that. So like I said, it's not perfect. It would be nice if we could get the sponsors on the bike and the rider, but MXGP takes on Supercross. Jeffrey Hurlings, the legend, the bullet, number 84, takes on the Monster Energy Cup. That's going to be the plan for today's video. Of course, we aren't going to do qualifying. I don't think there's a point here on the Monster Energy Cup just because the track is different every moto. Every single mode of the track is different. So medium race length, realistic AI difficulty. You guys can check out the rest of the settings there and let's get right in. Longer intro, but let's get right in to the gameplay. The man, the myth, the legend, Jeffrey Hurlings walking out into the Las Vegas Sam Boyd Stadium, waving to the crowd. Could you imagine if this actually happened in real life? I know Tim Geiser, he's actually come up and he has done the Monster Energy Cup a few times. He usually crashes, that's usually what Geiser does, but it would be iconic to see Hurlings come up and race a Supercross race. I don't think it will ever happen. Maybe once he's done with MXGP, he will decide to come over here and just dominate over in America, but here we go guys, moto number one. I'm gonna I'm be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the black lettering on the back of Hurling's uh, jersey here. Probably should have went with white or maybe even orange. It would be nice if Milestone let us fully customize numbers. You know how Hurling's and MXGP and even some of the guys in this game, they have those unique, crazy almost decal numbers on the back of their jersey. Imagine being able to just customize, edit our own, and uh, throw them on the back of a rider. I think that would be pretty sweet. Now, if you guys want to see more Hurlings gameplay, more MXGP takes on Supercross, I was thinking, if you guys can hit 200 likes in 24 hours on this video, I will go ahead and do a career mode as an MXGP rider. Leave your comments in wow, English is tough. Leave your comments and suggestions down below. If you have any, I mean, tips for the hurling setup, you can drop those down below as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Joker lane out of the way. But I was thinking I could use this as kind of a test video. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, I can take your suggestions. 
say you do have some suggestions about what gear I should run or what graphics I should run as hurlings, you can drop them down below. Maybe you want to see a different rider takes on Supercross from the MXGP roster. So you guys can drop your suggestions down below. And if you guys hit, like I said, 200 likes in 24 hours, I will go ahead and I will drop an MXGP takes on Supercross career mode. And man, I'm just checking out. I'm just checking out. I didn't even think to do a head start or anything. I guess the bullet needs to dominate round one, race number one, am I right? I feel like he deserves it. What I will do for race number two is I will go ahead. Oh my goodness, Freeze didn't even take the Joker lane. And I was that far ahead on that last lap there. That was insane. I took the Joker lane and he didn't. And I was that far ahead still. I was like three seconds up. So I got a big advantage. What I will do for the remaining races of the night. Of course, there are three main events. If we can win all three, we get that million dollars. Oh, oh, the goon moment's taken over. We don't actually get a million dollars, but I wish, I wish we did. But what I'll do is I will take the lead that I have in this race and use that as my head start for moto number two. And we'll figure something out for moto number three. I need to get a triple in this rhythm, I think. I know it's possible, I know I can do it, I'm just gooning it up right now, holy. But I know it has been highly, highly requested here on the channel for me to do some more replicas of, say, MXGP riders. A lot of people want to see me do Brian Deegan, which I think is a good idea. It's on the list and it's probably coming fairly soon. But what happened was I ended up doing the One Last Ride series of Chad Reed, the Chad Reed tribute, before this, so it kind of pushed this series further and further back, and it feels like it just keeps getting pushed further and further back, so I know it is highly requested, and it is time to dominate, prove that the MXGP guys can hang <laughs> here in Supercross. Oh man, getting sketchy. And that's just how things go. You can absolutely send it into the sand. I have a huge lead right now. I'm like 14 seconds up. Absolutely checked out. Hurlings dominating round number one. Race number one of the night. On his way to getting a million dollars. A million dollars, let's go, look at that, throws the hands up, he knows he's the king. So once again, I totally forgot that the leaderboard doesn't actually show you the lead that I had at the end of the moto, so I had about three and a half seconds a lap on these guys. If we take, let me grab my calculator, three and a half, and multiply that by the five laps that we did, that's about a 17 and a half second lead. I'm gonna go ahead and challenge myself giving these guys a 20 second head start here in moto number two, race number two. It is of course a different track layout, so it does take like a little bit to get used to the layout. I don't have the Monster Energy Cup tracks memorized by any means. I honestly haven't really played them that much other than for videos, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's see if I can get hurlings up into that top spot, work our way towards the million dollars. This is kind of the make it or break it round right now. The make it or break it race. If I don't win, I can still focus on getting that overall, which I think in real life the overall winner gets 100k, but I could be wrong on that. If I don't win, that is my one million dollar dream down the drain. Is it not gonna pop up? It's not even gonna pop up and tell me uh, like the time or anything man i don't even know what to do i'm just gonna go guys i'm just gonna go i feel like that was not 20 seconds but uh what can i do <laughs> oh this game i wonder why it doesn't show you the uh race time here on the monster energy cup like it would on any other race in this game that's funky something i did not expect but let's go i do have some work to do these guys are pretty far ahead. I wonder how big of a head start that actually was. Here in race number two. Well, let's go. Of course, if you guys didn't notice, the track is completely different, like I said, and we are going kind of the opposite way, which I think is absolutely crazy. I think doing a race like this in real life, I was shook. I didn't watch Monster Energy Cup last year, 
So when I first played the DLC, I was absolutely shook. And everyone in the comments was like, yeah, they actually did that in real life. I had to go watch it. I actually went and watched it because I was, I was actually mind blown. I did not expect them to ever do that in uh, real life Supercross. Now, I did take the Joker lane, or I didn't take the Joker lane right away here in this moto, just because I want to try and catch up as much as I can here at the start of the race. And hopefully, that's the strategy. I gotta learn a rhythm through there, man. I really do. I know there's a triple triple line, but I cannot figure it out. Oh, I uh, scrubbed off of Brayton's head there. Uh, okay. 14.4 seconds down from the legend, Grant Langston. Almost looping my Larry there. And then I did, man, and then I did. What are the odds of that? Almost went down coming off of that raised corner. And then as soon as I, as soon as I got traction again, thought everything was A-OK, -okay, I ended up going down off of that single into the sand. So uh, that's definitely a setback, definitely a disappointment. I am in like last place. I figured I might as well, oh no, might as well get this joker lane out of the way right away. I am in last place. Moto 2. It might be down the drain, but it's not over till it's over. So, let's focus up. Still have a decent amount of time left. Three full laps. The leaders have checked out. That's no question right now. No question in my mind that I'm not catching them. And I can probably wave goodbye to that million bucks. A million dollars down the drain. 36 seconds. <laughs> behind Langston what did I tell you guys he checked out not going down in this section this time keeping it on two wheels that's what I like to see let's make this comeback happen I am so far back right now <laughs> not a good showing for the man hurlings another sketchy moment it's all good it's all good that's what I need sketchy moments mean we are going fast <laughs> am I right Maybe not, maybe not always, but if you never crash, you're not trying hard enough. Get into this flow, let's see if I can triple, triple. It would have been triple single, but that line actually worked as well, kind of cased, cased singled, <laughs> case doubled into the corner. What am I in, 17. That finish line jump right there. I think that's a pretty decent advantage for me, hitting it the way I do. Hug this inside and uh, yeah, lean forward. Coming out of that corner or else you are going to die. The man Benny Bloss, possibly the slowest AI in the game, actually not doing too bad. I'm shook. Maybe they upped his uh, skill level here for Monster Energy Cup. Oldenburg and AC, Adam Cianciarulo next on the list. I gotta hope some of these guys haven't taken the joker lane, and they still need to do it. AC coming back across. He's on that 250, so I do... Um, okay, he is on the ground now, but uh, yeah, there are some 250 guys in this race, so I do have the power advantage over them. It's as simple as that. 450 has the speed, it's got the, that raw power. P11 going on to the last lap. Freeze is next on the list. Webb has taken over the lead, and I am 13 seconds down. Now, I definitely do not think, definitely do not think I'm making up 13 seconds on this last lap. My focus right now is on that top 10. I think I should be able to get up and pass Sexton as well, who is just two spots up right there. It all comes down to the last half of this lap. So, get to here, bounce this triple, oh my goodness, I got a crazy line through there compared to them. On the gas, and let's see if I could, oh no, oh no, <laughs> keep it on two wheels. That's a line I gotta keep in mind for the next time I play this track, but I am getting sketchy, beyond sketchy. Tomac is next, I don't think I'm gonna be able to chase him down, may have to just let him have P9 or P8. I got P9 though, worked my way back up, not how I wanted that moto to go, 
that was actually a brutal race. Messed up coming out of that elevated corner and it just, it cost me way too much. My lap time though, once again, like three seconds quicker than Cooper Webb. So I definitely have an advantage over these guys. Let's see if I can bring it home in race number three. I got my stopwatch here. When the gate drops, I'm gonna go ahead and hit go and I am gonna give these guys a full 20 second head start this time. So that is the plan. Once again, challenging myself. We can't make it easy. We can't make it easy on the man, Jeffrey Hurley. He's the bullet. He's gotta prove that he has that speed. And if he's going down constantly, mistakes, mistakes, mistakes are not the way to go. The timer, the timer is on guys. When it hits 20 seconds, I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I will probably, editing Gunzig, will probably pop a timer up on screen for you guys. And when it hits 20, that's my cue to go. 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go. And of course, once again, another layout here. This start is wild. By the time you hit Monster Alley, you're like already fifth gear wide open. And you just send it into the sand. Ton of speed through here. And let's go. Let's make it through this uh, elevated corner without going down this time. I think maybe me being all by myself there off the start might have given me a little bit of an advantage, but I do need to clean up my act. I gotta try and get a line through here working because this, oh no, this is not it guys. This is not the line. Did kind of salvage a triple there. Let's see if I can get on, oh I didn't go wide enough in the corner to get onto the table. I am saving the joker lane for the last lap. I need to make as much time up on these guys as possible. I cannot get the pop off of that dragon's back. Monster Energy Cup. This track, it truly does eat me alive. Maybe it's just because I haven't played it that much. I don't really know. I'm not making excuses. But I always struggle every time. I do a challenge here or anything. It's a tough track. It truly is. It's not too, too complex, which means the AI, they can shred. They can definitely keep up and put in some solid laps. Looks like Freeze is out front. I'm not sure where the man Web is. I'm not even going to worry about it right now. Let's see if I can get a triple here and triple into the corner then. On the gas a little bit earlier and, oh, not perfect. I think I might be able to get a pop off of that table and triple into the corner, but I'll take, I'll take that line. There we go. That's the fast line through there. And I am in P2 hunting down Vince Freeze. We got three laps to go. Of course, I do have to take the Joker lane still, but I'm saving it till the end. I want to try and make my way through the field like I have as quick as possible. Get into that lead. Try and check out. That's hopefully the plan. And then hopefully taking the Joker lane doesn't really impact me. I'm not sure if Freeze has taken it yet. That's the mystery. We won't know until the end of the moto, I guess. Oh, getting sketchy through there. Come wide in this corner. Triple up and on. I think I might need third gear in the corner. Oh, I thought I was going to get reset right there. I did go off track a little bit. Freeze just taking the joker lane now. So that is going to give me the edge going on to this last lap. As long as I don't pull a dungeon and miss the joker lane. The white flag, guys. The white flag is out. Eight seconds up on Marv. He's in P2. It looks like Webb is buried in the field. Like 16th place. So I think Marv might be my biggest worry. Or maybe even RJ. I know he finished 3-3 three, three so far on the night. So that might be a worry. Marv is in P3 for points. And I'm chilling P4. If I can win this moto, that's pretty much all I can do. Giving it my best effort as the man hurlings. Oh, slow through there, so slow. But I still have that lead. 
Marv is right there, so no mistakes from here till that finish line. I could die on the finish line, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be too concerned. But if I crashed before then, then we got some problems. Gotta keep this lead. Of course, Moto 2, Main Event 2, those mistakes just costing me too much time. Way too much time. Over the finish line we go. Hug this inside and that is it guys. Taking main number three. Grabbing that W. Let's go, let's see how the points played out. So with all of that said and done, three main events in the bag. I wonder how the points played out. P3, no way. I only lost by one point. And Marv and Ricky Johnson tied. That is absolutely crazy. If I if I did a little bit better in main event number two, I would have taken that W. But look at that, man. That's crazy. One point separating the podium. Could you imagine that happening in real life? I would I'd be mind blown. Webb did fall back a little bit. He finished in 13th there in main number three. And then Brayton rounding out the top five with just Consistency, 955 on the night. So Marv, 10 points to his name. Ricky Johnson, 10 points to his name. And then of course, Hurlings, the bullet with 11 points. I feel like that's a pretty decent performance. If Hurlings actually came over from Netherlands and put in 191 on the night, I would be really, really impressed, especially because he doesn't focus on Supercross. So that's it, that's all. Remember, I did mention, guys, if you hit 200 likes in 24 hours on this video, I will drop an MXGP takes on Supercross career mode. Leave your comments in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in another video. Peace out.